Welcome to KSG India State Series. In this video, we are going to talk about the western state of India, Gujarat. Facts collected are based on the questions asked on Gujarat in competitive examinations. The state of Gujarat took its name from the Gujars who ruled the area during 700s and 800s AD. The capital city is Gandhinagar. The largest city of Gujarat is Ahmedabad. The state was born on the 1st of May 1960. Gujarat shares its boundaries with Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and the Union territory of Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu. Talking about the geographical features of the state, the ecosystem of Gujarat ranges from deserts, scrublands, grasslands, deciduous forests and wetlands to mangroves, coral reefs, estuaries and gulfs. About the climate of the state, it is wet in the southern districts and desertic in the northwest region. Winter is from November to February. The temperature ranges from 12 to 29 degrees Celsius. The summer season ranges from March to May. The temperatures range from 29 to 41 degrees Celsius. and the monsoon starts from june and ends in october the temperature during monsoon is 27 to 35 degree celsius garda hills barda hills gir range rajpipla hills chota udaipur hills black hills mandav hills are important mountain ranges and hills of gujarat the state of gujarat is made up of coastal region semi arid Kutch region towards the west, Kathiawar Peninsula in Saurashtra and the alluvial plain. Some of the major rivers of Gujarat are Sabarmati, Narmada, Tapi, Mahi, Luni which mostly flows in Rajasthan and finally ends into run of Kutch. All these rivers are west flowing rivers and they drain into Arabian Sea except the Luni which drains into run of Kutch. The run of Kutch is a seasonal salt marsh located in the Thar desert in Gujarat. It is divided into Great Run of Kutch and Little Run of Kutch. It includes mangrove and desert vegetation known for flamingos and other waterfowl. The Indian Wild As Sanctuary is located in the Little Run of Kutch. Bauxite is found in Jamnagar district and is also exported. Gujarat is largest producer of salt and accounts for more than 60% of the total salt produced in the country. Shale gas is found in the area of Kambe Basin. Some of the islands in the state are Khadir, Pirotan, Nora, Bhaidar, Bet or Pirambet, Shialbet which has recently been electrified after almost 70 years of independence and the Sadu Bet, the statue of unity under construction. It is the statue of Sardar Patel. Beaches in Gujarat are Ahmedpur Mandavi, Chorwar, Tithal, Somnath Beach and Dwarka Beach. Gir National Park, Black Buck National Park Vansda National Park and Marine National Park are the national parks in Gujarat. The Gir National Park was established in 1965. The location is Sasan Gir in Junagadh, Amreli. The major species found in Gir are lion, leopard, cheetah, jhosinga, hyena, sambar, chinkara, harpeto fauna, crocodiles and birds. It's the only place where Asiatic lion is found in natural habitat. The Black Buck National Park was established in 1976 in Velva Vedere in Bhavnagar. Black buck, wolf, hobara bustard, harriers, lesser florican and herpetofauna is found in this national park. The Vansda National Park was established in the year 1979. It is located in Vansda in Navasari. Leopard, hyena, cheetah, chausinga, birds and hypertofauna are found in this park. Marine National Park was established in 1980. It is located in the Gulf of Kutch in Jamnagar. The Marine National Park is home to sponges, corals, jellyfish, seahorse, octopus, oyster, pearl oyster, starfish, lobster, dolphin, dugong and waterfowls. Talking about the wildlife sanctuaries in the state, Gir Wildlife Sanctuary, Wild Ass Sanctuary is found in Gujarat. Wild Ass Sanctuary encompasses an area of 4,953.70 square meters of the Little Run of Kutch and the districts of Surendranagar, Rajkot, Patan, Banaskantha, and Kutch. 
Easily spotted in big groups in the vast span of desert throughout the year, this population of wild ass is the only gene pool of Indian wild ass in the entire world and one of the six geographical varieties or subspecies surviving on the earth. Owing to the uniqueness of the area and the existence of the rare and endangered species such as Dalmatian pelican, lesser flamingo, Saras crane, Karakal, desert fox, black cobra, etc., the area is being considered to be declared as one of the World Heritage Sites. Gujarat also has Nal Sarovar Bird Sanctuary, Marine Sanctuary, Kutch Desert Sanctuary, the Kutch Buster Sanctuary, it was declared as a sanctuary in July 1992, endangered species like Lesser Florican, Chinkara and Wolf inhabited this area. This bustard has the rare distinction of being the heaviest flying bird. Some of the other sanctuaries are Barda Wildlife Sanctuary, Jessore Sloth Bear Sanctuary, Purna Wildlife Sanctuary and Khijadia Bird Sanctuary. The Great Run of Kutch Biosphere Reserve is located in Gujarat. The city is located at the banks of rivers are Ahmedabad which is located on the Sabarmati River, Gandhinagar located on the banks of Sabarmati, Bharuj located on the banks of Narmada and Surat located on the bank of Tapi River. Gujarat is home to several multi-purpose projects. The Sardar Sarovar project is a dam across Narmada which is being built up in Gujarat for irrigation and drinking water for Gujarat, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh will be the main beneficiary in the share of electricity generated followed by Maharashtra. The Kakrapar project is uh, alongside the Tapi River, Mahi project on the Mahi River and Ukai project on the Tapi River are some of the other multi-purpose projects in Gujarat. Talking about the agriculture, extensive barren infertile lands are present in semi-arid Kutch and northwestern Kathiawar area. Gujarat is the leading producer of Bajra. Cotton concentration is in Surendranagar, Ahmedabad, Vadodra, Rajkot, Bharuj and Mahasana. Gujarat ranks first in groundnut production. Gujarat is a major producer of tobacco. Gujarat also has a major portion of sheep population which is in Saurashtra and northern Gujarat. Talking about the industries in Gujarat, diamond cutting and polishing in Surat and Jastan, woolen textile in Jamnagar, Alang is considered to be world's largest ship breaking yard, Hazira on the bank of Tapi, HBJ that is Hazira Bijapur Jagdishpur pipeline, it is approximately a 1750 km gas pipeline. It is India's first cross country pipeline which was started in 1986 to 1988. Mundra port is on the northern coast of Gulf of Kutch which is a modern all weather port. Gujarat has a gift city, yes you heard that right. Gujarat International Finance Tech City or GIFT is a central business district between Ahmedabad and Gandhi Nagar. It is India's first international financial services center. Its main purpose is to provide high quality physical infrastructure that is electricity, water, gas, district cooling, roads, telecoms and broadband so that finance and technology firms can relocate their operations there from Mumbai, Bangalore, Gurgaon etc. where infrastructure is either inadequate or very expensive. It will have a special economic zone, international education zone, integrated townships an entertainment zone, hotels, a convention center, an international techno park, software technology parks of India units, shopping malls, stock exchanges and service units. Surat is located in Gujarat and it is also known as Diamond City of India. And when we talk about Gujarat, we have to talk about the birth of Amul. It all began when milk became a symbol of protest. Amul was founded in 1946 to stop the exploitation by middlemen in Anand, also known as Anand Milk United Limited. Amul was inspired by the freedom movement. Verghese Kurian, who was entrusted the task of running the dairy from 1950, is also known as the father of the White Revolution. The bullet train project also gets a mention when we talk about the state of Gujarat. India's first bullet train project was launched between Ahmedabad and Mumbai with the help of Japan. Moving on to the vibrant culture of Gujarat, talking about the drama and the dances first. The Bhavi folk drama is a unique stage art form performed with Bhava. It is performed by males only. 
Dandiya Ras is another popular form of dance. Hali Saka is a group dance native to Gujarat. Dangi Nritya The Dangis are unique tribals, a blend of Gujarati and Maharashtrian culture mixed harmoniously with the original Dravidians. The dance performed by Dangis is called Dangi Nritya. Each variety of step is called Chala and there are about 27 varieties of these Chalas. One of the most amazing sights of this dance is the creation of a human pyramid. Rasa is a form of dance which is supposed to belong to Kutch and Saurashtra which is performed all over Gujarat. Garba dance is a popular folk dance of Gujarat. It is a circular form of dance performed by ladies on the Navratri days, Sharad Purnima, Vasant Panchami, Holi and other festive occasions. The word Garba is derived from the word Garba Deep, meaning a lamp inside a perforated earthen pot. Kite festival or Makar Sankranti, Kutch Desert Festival, Modhera Dance Festival, Tarnitar Fair and Navratri are some of the important fairs and festivals of the state. Some of the important temples in the state of Gujarat are Nageshwar Mahadev, Somnath Temple, Sun Temple Modhera, it is an architectural landmark being the earliest Solanki temple of Gujarat, datable to AD 1026-27. It was constructed during the reign of King Bhima Deva I. Surkodara, Lothal, Malwan, Rangpur and Dholavira are the important Harappan sites in the state of Gujarat. Lakota Fort in Jamnagar, Upar Court in Junagar and Dhoraj in Porbandar are some of the forts located in Gujarat. Buddhist cave groups Upar Court Junagar, Baba Pyare Caves, Khapra Kodia Caves and Buddhist Caves are also located in Gujarat. The Ashokan Rock Edict in Junagar, the rock edicts of Emperor Ashoka were engraved on a granite boulder on the slope of Girinagar or Urjayata Hill. On the eastern face of it was engraved 14 rock edicts by Ashoka and later epigraphs of Mahakshatrapa, Nurdraman I and Skandagupta were also recorded on it. The rock edict was first reported by James Todd in 1822. Talking about the World Heritage Sites in Gujarat, Rani Ki Vav, the Queen's Step Well at Patan in Gujarat is located on the banks of Saraswati River and was initially built as a memorial to a king in 11th century AD. It was designed as an inverted temple highlighting the sanctity of water. Champaner in Pavagad Archaeological Park, it is located at a distance of 50 km from Baroda and at the foothill of Pavagad hill in Gujarat. The Pavagad hill composed of reddish yellow colored stone formation. It is one of the oldest rock formations in India. And now talking about the historic city of Ahmedabad. The walled city of Ahmedabad was founded by Sultan Ahmad Shah in the 15th century on the eastern bank of the Sabarmati river. It presents a rich architectural heritage from the Sultanate period, notably the Bhadra citadel, the walls and the gates of the fourth city and numerous mosques and tombs as well as important Hindu and Jain temples of later periods. The urban fabric is made up of densely packed traditional houses in gated traditional streets with characteristic features such as bird feeders, public wells and religious institutions. The Barda, Bhavacha, Charan, Dubla, Gamit, Khatori, Koli, Parthi, Chodara and Siddhi, descendants of Bantu people of Africa are some of the tribes that are present in Gujarat. talking about the important institutions present in Gujarat. Some of them are Institute for Plasma Research in Gandhinagar, Physical Research Laboratory in Ahmedabad, Central Salt and Marine Chemicals Research Institute in Bhavnagar, Indian Diamond Institute in Surat, National Research Center for Groundnut in Junagar, NRC for Medicinal and Aromatic Plants in Boryavi in Anand, Indian Institute of Management in Ahmedabad, National Institute of Design in Ahmedabad and Sardar Vallabh Bhai National Institute of Technology in Surat. And now let us get you some important facts about the state of Gujarat. It has the largest coastline in India, approximately 1600 kilometers amongst the states of India. Narmada, Tapi, Mahi and Sabarmati drain into the Gulf of Khambat. West Banas and Saraswati drain into the run of Kutch. Generally, west flowing rivers form estuaries. Gujarat has the highest number of airports in India. Dahej is a chemical port. Largest district in the country is Kutch and it is also the westernmost district of India. A tidal plant is situated in Kutch. Bhuj Solar Pond is the first large scale solar pond in India. 
During 900 AD, the Sulanki dynasty came to power and Gujarat reached its greatest extent. Ahmed I founded Ahmedabad in 1411. Black Hill or Kalo Dungar is the highest point in Kutch. The Dandi heritage route has been delinked from NH 228. Kandla is a major port in Gujarat. The Kutch Biosphere Reserve has been designated as the 15th Biosphere Reserve of India on the 29th of January 2008. Kakrapar Atomic Power Station had a nuclear reactor leak of level 1 in March 2016. Kandla was set up in 1965. Patola is one of the most distinguishing and unique forms of fabric of Gujarat. Gujarat accounts for about 80% of diamonds processed and 90% of the diamonds exported from India. Mehsana, Kalol and Dholka are the oil resources found in Gujarat. Porbandar is the birthplace of the father of the nation Mahatma Gandhi. Ancient ports are Bharuch and Khambat. They were the reason of flourishing trade in Gujarat region since ancient times. Gulf of Khambat and Gulf of Kutch have huge potential of generating tidal energy because of huge variation in tidal range. Gujarat also has huge potential for wind energy and solar power generation. That's it in this edition of KSG News State Series. Stay tuned for more such informative videos to help with your exam preparations.